Hi, I'm Chris with DinoJet. Today I'll be showing you how to use your LCD 200 accessory for Power Commander 5 and Wideband 2. We're going to show you today how to calibrate the touch screen, how to set up your gauge panel. For the sake of example, let's hypothetically say that the touch screen is completely out of calibration and we cannot navigate the screen at all. If we push the joystick button inward, it'll act as a cancel. Also, the top button is a cancel button. The inner key is going to be here at the very, very bottom. So we'll navigate into main menu. We'll use the joystick button to go to LCD config, hitting the bottom button to enter. And then we'll use the joystick to highlight touch panel and then hit the bottom button to enter touchscreen calibration. Then we'll use the joystick to navigate to start and we'll hit enter to begin the calibration process. Once we start the calibration process, a single target will appear in the upper right hand corner of the screen. I'm gonna use a pointed instrument, this, this scribe here, to tap that target one time, making extra sure not to double tap the target. That's going to cause the second target to appear. We'll tap that one time. The third target. The fourth target. And finally, the fifth target right in the center. Once that's been done, our touch screen is calibrated and we should be able to push all of our buttons right on the screen with our finger. It's also a lot more precise to use a pointed instrument instead of just your finger. The most common question we get at DinoJet is why do the gauges not work out right out of the box? And that's because there have been no gauge channels assigned to any of these gauges. In order to assign gauge channels, we'll need to go into gauge setup while the bike is running. Right now, I do have the bike running. Now the first thing I'll do is tap the screen. I'll go to gauge setup. You can select any of the gauge templates here. For this demonstration, we'll use the one here at the bottom center. And we will edit the round analog gauge. And we're going to edit the channel setting. We're going to select Power Commander 5 as the device for that channel and RPM as the channel itself. Now I can see live RPM in my gauge. I want to change the maximum value of this gauge to 14,000. Next I want to set where the yellow and red line starts. Alarm being the red and warning being the yellow. I'm going to start with the alarm high setting and I'm going to put that right at about 13,000. So I'll hit edit for alarm high and I'll type in 13,000. Now my red point starts at 13,000 RPM. I want the yellow, the warning high setting, to be at about 12,500. And now the yellow line starts at 125. Now I have, in this gauge, eight ticks, one for every 2,000 RPM. If I wanted to set that for every 1,000 RPM, I'll put in 15, just so I have the 14,000 increments and the zero point. It's a little too jumbled, so I'll go back to eight. And now I have a tick for every 2,000 RPM. My precision here is in two decimal places. I want to change that to one. So when I'm upwards of 10,000 RPM, the gauge can still show me 10, 11, 12, etc. Next, I'm going to set the digital gauge number one of that gauge template. I'm going to edit the channel setting. I'm going to want to show Power Commander 5 percent throttle on that gauge. And I have four decimal places, so I really just need a precision of one. The next gauge I want to set up in my template is digital gauge number two. And I'm going to want that to show wideband two or auto tune air fuel ratio. And I have four decimal places, so I'm going to go ahead and set that to a precision of two. Now our final gauge of the template is digital gauge number three. I'm going to set that up to show Power Commander 5, fuel adjust on cylinder one. 
Right now there's a zero map loaded, so I'm not getting any live adjustment. I'm going to set that to a precision of one. And now I can exit out to the main screen. And here I can see all of my live gauges streaming data. Here with my throttle closed, I can see 3.5% throttle. So I know my throttle calibration is out of range. One thing I can do is go into device setup, select the PC5 device, go to calibration of the throttle. Just hit reset. Then I'll blip the throttle wide open real quick. Do it two times for good measure and save. Now if I exit back out to the main screen, my throttle percent gauge reads accurate to the bike. And this is really all that is needed to set up your gauge channels.